Hi, everybody. This is Miss Lynn from Lovely Decor. How is everybody doing? This is my first 2017 tablescape. And I was inspired to do this tablescape by some uh, designers that I saw on a channel called City View. And they were Justin and Colin. And they were doing some faux botanicals or faux flowers. And um, I thought they were beautiful. So I'm standing back just to give you a good view because I'm going to be doing the tablescape that you see right here. And then I'm going to be sh showing you just a small short thing in the living room as I'm preparing to uh, purchase and get new furniture. So I hope everyone has been doing well and fine. So let's get to it. I'm standing back a little bit so you can see the whole table. But let's get to it. The thing that I like about I'm going to come up now is these botanicals when they were doing them, they were doing yellow. And all of this except for the grapes. I've had these grapes for years. I purchased them at Hobby Lobby. But everything, the plastic bowl, the moss, the foam, and all the plants that you see here are at your area Dollar Tree store. And this was so much fun to make and so easy. I had done um, a DIY on this, but my footage was lost. I don't know what happened to it. So um, I'm sort of kind of busy where I won't be able to do one again. But this is just putting foam in the bottom of the plastic bowls or glass bowls that you can find sometimes at Dollar Tree, depending on which one you go to. Um, and if you really want to see how to do this city view with uh, Justin and Colin, go there and... I hope that I'm uh, saying their names right. They are Justin and Colin, or Colin and Justin, they own City View. And they do a yellow floral arrangement that's just like this, except for the flowers are yellow. And it is absolutely beautiful. But it's just a plastic bowl, moss, a foam on the bottom, and the types of florals that you see here. And the berries that I put around right there and the grapes. Really simple, but yet beautiful. And I just right here took some of the same flowers, put it in one of the little bowls that you see uh, at the Dollar Tree store. And I just made... Two of these to go in with these botanicals that you see. And I love the way the designers uh, on that particular channel called them permanent botanicals instead of saying fake or faux uh, florals. They call them permanent botanicals. Now, the thing that I like about this is that you can change it out. I was thinking about doing a series on the different color flowers for each month. Um, I'm not going to say I'm really going to do it. Um, if I have the time, I will. Or maybe some of the months I will do it. But this is really beautiful. I like the way that it turned out. And I happened just to have all a bag of grapes because in um, my home previously, we were more contempt, we were more traditional. And I had these grapes in a big size urine because I have a lot more of these. But these are from Hobby Lobby. And the thing about it, I was amazed how these botanicals turned out because I really like the botanicals that you see are the florals that... Uh, you see that are at Michael's or uh, Hobby Lobby. They really have nice florals. So, but I but I love the way that this turned out, and it was so easy to make. And I uh, I wanted to make sure that I show you the flowers that they were, so you can write them down. The taller flowers, uh, gladiola, and lavender is the smaller flower, which the white flower right here. And Hacienth, Hacienth, I may be jacking that name all up, but that's the more pink flower that you see right here, a violet a, a flower, almost like a fuchsia to me, but these are some of the floral colors for this month. And that's just berries. Uh, they have those at the Dollar Tree. Everything but the grapes. So I just thought that was beautiful. And he made a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful table. 
And now I'm going to be taking you to some of the areas in my living room because I'm so excited about my sister moving into her new place and she's buying up my furniture. Well, just my sofa and my two chairs. So we're going to go to that now. Okay, this is my fireplace area and I um, created these cones on top uh, with some duck print material that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I love year round having candles in front of the fireplace. Now what I have done here, I'm thinking of changing or getting some of the, some more of the flameless candles. Uh, the candle right there, one, two, coming up on the right is a flameless candle. And the candles do look real, but they're the flameless candles. But these are my tall candles that I did in the DIY, and I just love them. I had this candelabra in my storage area, and I wanted the candles to be up so when I wanted to do the fireplace, to use the fireplace, I don't have to take up each candle. Uh, my husband, who would probably be lifting this, we painted this white and it turned out beautiful. And I try to spread a little of the arrangement of floors that I use on the tablescape over here. So it kind of blend in. I was uh, surprised at how the colors really blend in with the decor that we have on this table, you see my big, huge lamp. And back there is my vase that I will be moving with my artwork in it. And so uh, I love this. I wanted to film at night because, you know, in the daytime, the light, the night, the light coming through is beautiful, but it can affect your filming. So this is my fireplace area and I love things that you can just keep changing up however you want it uh I'm going to be getting a ottoman or a some kind of storage beautiful storage for my extra pillows because I'm bringing in other types of pillows right now um and I'm making sure whatever pillows I get they're going to go with all the decor that I'm using I'm trying to back up just a little bit because I want to show you the branch design that I have put up here my husband and I because we're not going to I love these windows and we're not going to rush our treatment for the windows because I really want to get something very nice but I love the high ceilings and I also love how this branch treatment came out and um, you can see it just a little bit better. I love these pillows. And that's my chocolate furniture. One of the things I do and have always done in having chocolate furniture is use white uh, accessories to kind of, you know, lighten it up a little bit. But um, I'm so excited for my sister. We just been talking and having such so much fun, you know, because she's going to her new place. And I know what that's like. And here's my table set. And I have seen so many beautiful table settings. And I'm still collecting pillows and getting pillows that I'm going to get. I'm actually going out Friday, furniture hunting. Woo! Yes. And um, I'm going to be getting uh, a couple more pillows and that's it. Because some of these pillows I'm going to be putting uh, put it, putting away or putting in a basket, a beautiful basket or something. I haven't decided yet. I'm taking my time to do things, but I have been seeing such lovely, beautiful table settings. And it's just really, really, really has been so nice. And so here is my blue and white floor arrangement. I love this. I love putting it on top of this table. Uh, my sister was asking me about my tables and I told her I haven't decided on giving you or giving away my tables or purchase, uh, selling my tables, but I will let you know because it depends on the type of furniture that I replace this with. Over here on this table, that candelabra lamp that you see back there, I will be moving that. Now, I want to go back uh, to this table because I love the big, be beautiful blue lamp that I purchased from home goods to go on this table and globes are not being used just in the office anymore. They're being used for decor. So when I found this particular globe and the colors that it had and also the colors in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful 
box here. I, I, I love that. I love that. It is wonderful. And um, it looks so good. I like the way that it looks. And so going back over here, I love this area right here. Now, as you can see, my husband purchased me a stand. So when I do my next DIY, I'm going to be trying that out. That particular lamp that's back there is a candelabra lamp that belongs in my bedroom, um, which we will be putting in there real soon. But I love and I'm taking my time. One thing I tell you, take your time. You in no rush. Get the things that you like. Because this table right here that I have draped with this linen, I'm going to be uh, purchasing a mirrored or glass table or a sofa table that is white or a cabinet back here that is white with glass. So it'll help me in storing some of my things that I'm using. But um, yes, I like those topiaries. I'm topier. I love them, especially during this season and time. You can use them anytime. I am purchasing also some spiral topiaries that I'll be putting on my fireplace beside those candelabras. Smells so good. So I want to get up just a little bit closer to show you this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful floor arrangement. These candles from TJ Maxx, if you have never tried these candles from TJ Maxx, oh my gosh, TJ Maxx Home Goods or um, Marshalls, they smell so good. And always go in your clearance area and check them out. I like this number three candle. It smells so good. This is the way out to our balcony. You can go to our balcony or patio from the living room or our bedroom. I, I really like that feature that's in here. And here is my chairs that go into the end of next month, March, around the 25th, 26th, will not be my chairs any longer. They will be gone. So this is part of my, and when I get everything out, we still have some of the plastics that the movers put down when we moved in here. So when we get that area, I'm going to show you my beautiful niche area coming up from the foyer into this area right here that you see. So I'm just going to kind of back up and give you an overview. I love this open up concept. I love it. And you're going to see this change. And I love that. And I'm going to be doing a haul real soon because I have a, a couple of throws that's to color those pillows and getting some more. And that I just had a good time. And just working on the different things that I'm working on. I love these high ceilings. And so I hope everybody has been doing wonderful and well. I also want to show you how I am uh, trying to put some designer touches and do some things that are designer touch. And I just love that table. Now, you know, I love the tablescapes. So I'm just, I am just ready and thrilled to be doing some things, but I'm taking my time. But I want to show you a sneak preview of the panel that I am making and I'm going to frame this. This is my panel that my husband and I put together and it's simple, it's easy. Uh, it's just a matter of doing it. I won't know until later if I have time to do a DIY on some things, but I thought I could still bring it to my dec decor world. I still bring it. So, okay. That's some of the things that I'm doing, and we're going to go on a journey as I will be uh, replacing some 
of these things and uh, working it out. I love the white accessories. They are so beautiful. My pillows that I'm putting in place. See, you can get things one at a time. One might say, you don't have the sofa yet. Why are you getting the pillows? But I know then getting the pillows, I'm going to get a pillow that's going to go right in with the sofa. And I don't have to, when I purchase the sofa, turn around and have to go get pillows. So I'm showing that you can do, as I'm helping my sister with some things, you can do things on your time. Don't rush things. Get the things that you really want to get. And um, you can always replace things, uh, switch things out and turn things around. Just have fun in whatever it is that you do. I want to say as always, God bless each and every one of you. One of the things that I always like to do and being encouraging is tell you nothing is too hard for God. Just remember that God understands and knows whatever it is that you're going through. And you know what? For some of you listening on the sound of my voice and really understand some things, this is your due season. So step into it. Step into your due season. God bless all of you. And always, always happy decorating for Miss Lynn at Lovely Decor.